just replaced my one year supply on my spring water system. My new RO system from iSpring appears to be working just fine. No leaks. Reverse osmosis system. I've been a customer for this product for about three to four years now. It's one of a kind. Easy to install and very beneficial for you. Thank you, James. Hello and welcome to my home. This is my new ice spring water system. The six stage with the mineral filter on it installed under the sink. The drain line is not hooked up. I don't have any tools to drill a hole in the drain. And I have not mounted the system because I like to pull it out in order to change filters. There is the spigot. Just installed it yesterday and I have to have to say it works very well. Thank you, iSpring, for a good product. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick review here on the iSpring six stage reverse osmosis water filtration system. Um, like most people, I do ha have a whole lot of space underneath my sink, so therefore I chose to install my tank in the basement. Um, this system is a fantastic system. It comes with everything needed, including spare parts, O-rings, things like that. Some things that may break on your assembly if you weren't careful. O-rings that could tear or need to be replaced in the future. Uh, this is included free of charge in the kit. Fantastic to have. The kit comes with wrenches, all the wrenches you need in order to replace the filters and install them. Comes with all the hoses, everything, all the fittings. Uh, brackets, mounting hardware, every, everything you need to install this kit. Um, this is the six stage filtration system. Um, comes with a valve that you install on your cold water line. Uh, everything is color coded in the instructions. Goes into the filter system, runs through three, uh, three heavy filters, and then there's a multi stage filter up on top here. Um, and finally, it comes after reverse osmosis. It ends up going back up through the uh, mineralizer and pH balancer, which is the whole reason I had purchased this system, the six stage, is because the mineralizer and pH balancer puts the minerals back into the water and raises your pH back up in order to make more healthy, tastier drinking water than a flat RO low pH water like most other systems would um, again everything's color-coded everything comes with the kit um, you got a drain line reverse osmosis has drain water uh, it comes with a T in order to tap into your drain um, the only thing that I had to purchase above and beyond is a bunch of quarter-inch tubing which was very very cheap from the hardware store that was only a couple bucks two three dollars for ten feet um, the only reason I needed to buy that is because I opted to install my water tank in the basement in order to conserve room underneath my sink. So the water tank line just comes out where it normally would and I have it running down into the basement into the water tank in the basement and that doesn't at all affect my water pressure. Um, fantastic water pressure still. Uh, the kit also comes with a Easy uh, sticker to put on the inside of your cabinet to remind you when you last changed your filter because we all forget when that last time that filter was changed and it's, like, it's a great reminder just to uh, get you to get your filters replaced um, when they should. 
the kit also comes with a fantastic uh, spigot, um, valve assembly, great quality stainless steel brushed. Um, no complaints here, mounts into the standard opening on all most sinks. Um, again, it's, uh, it's uh, great flowing, even though the tank is in the basement, you'd think it would uh, slow down the flow, but it does not. It, uh, it fills a full-size glass up very quickly. And this, is, uh, this is some of the cleanest, best tasting uh, water that I've had out of any uh, filter systems that I've had in the past. Um, I, I just love how it puts the pH back in and all the minerals back in so that you get a very tasty water, clean, healthy, tasty water just like you would with a, a very high-end bottled water system. So I, uh, I highly recommend this uh, the system to anybody that is looking to have healthy water, clean water, um, maybe uh, stop the habit of buying the very expensive bottled water. Uh, it's a very cost-effective system that is extremely easy to put in, no special tools needed. And again, it really does not take up much space underneath your sink, especially if you mount the small tank in the basement, which I have, and uh, that way it just takes up minimal space. All in all, very, very happy with it. Very effective. This is the RCC 7AK system installed and the faucet injection. So we installed the iSpring reverse osmosis water filter. As you can see, it's pretty tucked in there, but it works out fine. I, we didn't have to really move too much of our stuff around. Um, so yeah, works great. Did it about two weeks ago. The water has been fantastic. So no complaints here and a pretty easy peasy setup. Just completed installation of iSpring's water system reverse osmosis. Um, shots of the installation. Very easy to install. Just takes a little patience and the video online is a great great tool. It's just been set up so the water is just now dribbling for the first five minutes. We'll complete the uh, setup and enjoy our system. Good day. System. Initial, Initial steps. steps. Careful link to the user's mount for the user's system. system. Layout, Layout all the phone phones, 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 phones and make sure to check out each other. Each other. You are also a fancy household tool to complete the installation. 
installing, installing refill, refill filter. filter. Remove, Remove the deck, deck wrap, wrap from each filter, filter before installing. installing. Make sure Make the sure O-ring, O-ring seated, seated in the top, in the top housing. housing. Install, Install the filter, filter in, the in the housing, and then air screw the housing, through the housing onto the filtration, filtration system. system. Installing, Installing the filter elements vertically, vertically will keep them aligned correctly, correctly, correctly in the filter housing. housing. Repeat the, the process for the two remaining filter, filter elements, elements. making make sure, sure to match them to the correct location. Tighten the filter housing. Using, using the side wrench. wrench. Installing, Installing membrane. membrane. Remove, Remove the membrane, membrane from the protective wrap. wrap. Remove, Remove the black, the black caps, caps from both ends of the membrane. membrane. Install, Install the membrane, membrane into the housing. The end, the end of the two, two black, black O-rings, O-rings goes, goes, goes in first. first. Make sure, Make sure the membrane, membrane is pressed, pressed firmly, firmly into the housing. housing. Install, Install the cap, cap and, and tubing. tubing. Quick, quick connect, connect fitting. fitting. Remove the Move tubing, the tubing first, pull out the clip, clip. Then, then press, press the fit fitting and pull out the tubing. tubing. To, to install, install, insert, insert the, tubing. the tubing. And then and install, install the locker. Cold water supply valve. Shut off the cold water supply valve to the sink. Open, open cold water, water faucet, faucet and leave any remaining any pressure, pressure, pressure in the system. system. Old, old style, style valve. Put about, about three, three turns, turns of flat tape, tape, tape on the, the shut-off shut off valve. Install the shut-off shut off valve in the cold water, water adapter. adapter. Loosen the cold water, water flex, 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 and install the adapter. Reinstall the cold water flex, flex line, line onto the adapter, adapter and, and tighten. Remove the nut from the stop valve and slip, slip it over, over the red tubing. Then insert the red tubing into the valve. And tighten, and tighten the nut. John Guest, guess, angle stop, stop, stop valve. Remove, remove, remove the water flex, flex line and install, install the valve. Reinstall, Reinstall the cold water flex line to the valve, the valve and tighten. tighten. Insert the red, red tubing into the, into the adapter. Dispense off faucet. Use an existing, existing hole, hole or drill, drill a new patch hole, hole in the desired location. location. Remove, Remove the protective, protective wrap, wrap from the chrome plate, plate and install, and install the chrome plate, plate and the washer, washer onto the faucet. faucet. Install, install the faucet, faucet into the hole. hole. The following step steps will take will place, place under, under the sink, sink but they are shown on the camera for clarity. On the under the under sink, the sink install, install the back plate, plate the lock washer, washer, and the nut, and, nut, and tighten. Place, place the, nut the nut over the blue tubing, tubing. place the collar over, over the tubing, tubing. And push, and push the, the insert into the, into the tube. tube. Install, Install the, the tubing, tubing onto the faucet, faucet and tighten, tighten the nut. Tighten the 
Drain, drain saddle. saddle. The drain, the drain saddle, saddle may be installed on the horizontal cross, cross pipe, pipe or on, on the vertical drain, drain, drain pipe. pipe. Drill, Drill a one quarter inch hole in the desired location. location. Install all the sticky foam pad, pad or a hole. hole. Align, Align the drain, the drain saddle, saddle with the with hole, hole using drill bit or narrow screwdriver. screwdriver. Install the back plate. plate. Install the nuts. nuts. And tighten the screwdriver. screwdriver. Remove, Remove the, the tool you used for a long saddle. saddle. Slip, Slip the black, the black nut over the black, black tubing. tubing. Insert the, the tubing into the drain saddle, saddle, saddle and tighten, tighten the nut. Tubing, tubing hook up. up. Insert, Insert the, the tubing, tubing into the DH balance, balance of the port. port. And install, and install the locking Insert, insert the yellow, the yellow tubing, tubing into the post carbon, carbon filter, filter port, port. And, and install the locking lock clip. clip. Insert, insert black, black tubing, tubing into the auto, auto flush, flush valve, valve and install, and install the lock clip. clip. Insert, insert the red, the red tubing, tubing into the sediment, the sediment filter. filter. And install the locking clip. System, System start starting. Turn on, turn on the tail valve so handle is perpendicular to the hose. Turn on, turn on the reverse hose box 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 System, System manual, manual flush valves, valves open the flush flush valve. valve. Turn on, turn on the water, water supply. supply. Turn on, Turn on the reverse, reverse osmosis, osmosis supply valve and check, check, check the system, system for leaks. After five, five minutes, minutes, water, water should start, start to dribble, to dribble from, from the faucet. faucet. Wait, Wait ten, ten more minutes and then, and then turn off the take valve. Turn, turn off the manual, manual flush, flush, flush valve, valve if installed. If installed. Shut, Shut off the reverse osmosis faucet and allow the system to fill for two hours. After two hours, open the reverse osmosis faucet until the tank is completely drained. Close the box and allow, and allow the system, the system to fill. After, After the tank, tank fills, fills, the system, system is ready, ready to use. use. Doing a review on my ice spring water system. Had it for a few months. Have been very satisfied. Um, this is a basement mount. We mounted it down in a basement. Uh, storage closet it was very easy to install. Customer service was phenomenal. They uh, even sent me an extension tube uh, for me to run it up uh, through the ceiling into my uh, kitchen cabinet underneath my sink and uh, have an extension tube that goes down into our drains and our uh, sump pump. Very satisfied with this system. And as you can see, it runs. Through the basement, uh, from the basement into our cabinet underneath our sink, goes above into the water spigot here. Runs really great, no complications. Great water, love the RO uh, purity, and then the remineralization. Great tasting water, and uh, like I said, I'm very satisfied with the system, and uh, love the water.
Okay, so Josh asked me to do a quick review of my iSpring water system. Uh, we had an expensive Kinetico system that we had for over 10 years. We were having problems with it and it was going to cost at least $200 probably to get it fixed and they were already trying to sell me a $1,600 system. So I did some research and I found out the iSpring actually has more stages and the filters are a lot cheaper and you'll notice that this is in the basement which is where my Kinetico was and you can see all I had to do was cut the connections from the Kinetico buy a couple connectors and hook it up it took me less than a half an hour and the water tastes well if not better than the Kinetico system did and so far we're really happy with it and we're happy with the fact that the filters again are just a fraction of the cost of the Kinetico so so far it's a, all been a good experience Hi, my name is Jim Chester. I just finished installing the iSpring water filtration system. It was very easy. Watch the video. It took about 45 minutes. All done. Not bad. This is a little video of my iSpring water system. You can see that uh, here's the spout and under the sink is this guy and uh, yeah installation is pretty easy and it's been about six months now and it's working beautifully and we're very happy with the product hello this review is for the RCC 7AK six stage iSpring water filtration system with reverse osmosis. The reason I chose this water system is because it has the alkaline filter and that is better for you to drink. It also comes with this two and a half gallon tank over here. It is pressurized and I did have a problem in the beginning because I did not attach all of the hoses properly with the little blue clips if you'll notice in there. They need to be inserted all the way with the blue clips it did drip and leak out, but it fixed that, and now I have paper towels there just to check. As you'll see, you'll need to tap into two lines, the drainage pipe and the inlet pipe. Um, it's a little bit of handiwork, but it's fairly easy to do. Over here, it also comes with a sound siren, a water... Uh, water siren so it'll test for um, check for water and the siren will go off it comes in handy if this was filling up with water as far as the spigot it's a very nice spigot stainless steel polished and you can swivel it around here matches so I like that I did need to drill into the granite it took a little bit of time and looking up on YouTube how to do that but with a little bit of patience it worked out great as far as the water, I'm gonna have my assistant hold it for me. Okay, we're gonna test the water now. Now, the regular spigot water. It comes in. At about 140. It's under 200, but our tap water is not that bad. As far as the reverse osmosis water with the filter, alkaline filter comes in about 12 so that's pretty good normal reverse osmosis is zero but ours is higher because it has that alkaline mineralization filter it actually adds minerals that are good for you into it that's why it's a little bit higher overall it's, i think it's a great system at a great price and uh i really like it a lot Save the environment, save plastic bottles, and get yourself one of these metal containers and keep refilling it. Great product. Thanks again. This is my iSpring water system setup. 